In this podcast episode, Russ Cook shares his journey from a troubled youth to attempting to run the entire length of Africa. Cook opens up about his difficult relationship with his parents, particularly his father's absence during his upbringing. He describes his father as a hardworking man who instilled a strong work ethic in him, but shares that their lack of emotional connection had a lasting impact on him. Struggling with feelings of isolation and a lack of guidance, Cook moved out of his parents' home at a young age. He took on multiple part-time jobs and pursued a career in sales, inspired by movies like Wolf of Wall Street. However, he found himself caught in a cycle of gambling, excessive drinking, and unhappiness. He recalls waking up in tears and feeling a deep sense of hopelessness during this period of his life. Despite hitting rock bottom, Cook found solace in listening to podcasts, particularly those featuring figures like Jordan Peterson. These online resources provided him with guidance and inspiration, helping him see a way out of his struggles. Cook acknowledges the role of his girlfriend in bridging the gap between him and his family, as she encouraged him to reconnect with his parents and work towards healing their relationship. Running became a passion for Cook, and he went on to achieve remarkable feats, such as running from Asia to London and pulling a car for a marathon. These experiences taught him the value of progress and taking on challenges to improve oneself. He also reflects on the importance of keeping things to himself and how internal struggles can manifest in other ways if not addressed. Cook's decision to run from Istanbul to London was met with skepticism from others, including his family. However, he persevered and completed the journey, which marked a turning point in his life. He then set his sights on running the full length of Africa, a daunting challenge that required meticulous planning and preparation. Before embarking on the Africa run, Cook met Emily, who would become a significant source of support and inspiration throughout his journey. Their relationship evolved as they navigated the challenges of being apart for long periods while Cook ran across Africa. Emily's understanding and patience helped Cook grow and become more open to compromise and support in their relationship. Despite facing numerous obstacles and being ill-prepared financially for the Africa run, Cook remained determined to see it through. He landed in South Africa with only 10K, a fraction of the money needed for the entire journey. He talks about how he initially struggled with finding sponsors and support for his mission. However, he eventually secured two sponsors who provided him with the necessary resources to embark on his journey. Despite this positive development, Cook faced health issues early on, such as peeing blood. During his run through Africa, Cook encountered several robbery incidents. In South Africa, he managed to deter potential robbers by acting erratically and scaring them off. However, in Angola, he was robbed at gunpoint, resulting in the loss of valuable items like passports, money, and equipment. The most intense and frightening part of Cook's journey occurred in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He describes being threatened with a rock by a local and feeling anxious and on edge throughout his time in the country. On day 102, he found himself lost in the jungle, surrounded by hostile villagers who demanded money from him. He was eventually taken into the bush by men with machetes, leading to a seven-hour ordeal on a motorbike through treacherous terrain. During this traumatic experience, Cook reflected on his life and relationships, particularly with his partner, Emily. He contemplated the possibility of not making it out alive and regretted not repairing certain relationships in his past. The fear and uncertainty of his situation weighted heavily on him, and he grappled with the idea of death and its implications. Cook acknowledges the strain that the Congo incident put on his team, leading to arguments and tensions among members. As he traveled back through villages, he observed the poverty and felt conflicted about indulging in luxuries like alcohol and cigarettes in such impoverished areas. This led to a heated argument with his team, resulting in a tense atmosphere among them. He also realizes that he had not adequately prepared for the logistical challenges of the mission, relying too heavily on the content creation aspect. This imbalance in roles and responsibilities contributed to the team's struggles and ultimately led to a team member departing. In the aftermath of the DRC ordeal, Cook recognized the need to reevaluate his approach 
and make changes to ensure the team's success. He hired a logistics expert and acquired a 4x4 vehicle to navigate the challenging terrain ahead. Despite the difficulties faced, he remained determined to continue his mission and learn from the setbacks experienced along the way. Despite facing numerous challenges, Cook and his team developed a sense of resilience that helped them navigate through difficult situations. When their truck broke down in the Sahara Desert, they remained calm and confident that they would find a solution. This resilience was built over time through their collective experiences and the lessons learned from overcoming setbacks. As Cook neared the end of his journey, the media attention and public interest in his story grew significantly. Crowds of people gathered to run with him on the final leg of his journey, and his family, including his father and girlfriend, were there to support him. The overwhelming support and recognition from the public and media added to the emotional intensity of reaching the finish line. Cook's journey inspired millions of other people facing challenges and uncertainty in their lives, showing that transformation and growth are possible through hard work and resilience. His fundraising efforts for the running charity also had a significant impact, with the goal of raising a million pounds being achieved through donations from various sources. Returning to the UK after his journey, Cook faced a new set of challenges, including managing the sudden influx of attention and adjusting to a different lifestyle. He expressed feeling overwhelmed by the public scrutiny and the need to find a new routine and purpose in his post-journey life. Despite these new challenges, he remains grateful for the experience and the support he received along the way. Looking ahead, Cook is considering new opportunities and ways to give back, including documenting other people's journeys and supporting them in achieving their goals. He expresses a desire to shift the focus away from himself and towards helping others, reflecting on the impact of his journey and the importance of finding meaning and purpose in life.